In this video, I'm going through the basics of SQLite Recon that will help you in penetration testing and the bug bounty hunting. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chris, I work in cybersecurity and on this channel I make a lot of videos on the topic. So if you're into that, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all my new videos. And if you're looking for a job in cybersecurity and need one-on-one -on -one coaching or training, get in touch with me using the links below. Now, with that said, let's get into it. So I'm back again on Attack Defense Labs, which is a platform that provides a practical training in cybersecurity using real-life scenarios. And as you can see over here, I already have this challenge uh, up and running. Uh, so our mission... Our simple mission in this uh, challenge is to answer these questions and answering these questions will get you familiar with SQLite which is actually going to help you uh, in penetration testing when you're dealing with this type of database okay so I've already completed uh, these uh, and I think I've reset the flag but no so I haven't so let me just reset all flags and we also have the solution over here, but we're not going to look at it. Okay, so the flags should be, yeah, the flag should be reset. Okay, uh, so as we complete uh, these uh, questions or as we answer these questions, you'll have a better idea on how to work or how to query SQLite databases. Okay, as you can see over here, this would be a super easy scenario, so we should probably get through it relatively quickly. Okay, and I've already started an instance, um, so I'm going to click on the lab link. I'm, I, actually, I have it running over here, uh, so clicking the lab link is actually going to take me over to this tab. Alright, so um, let's actually get into the first question. What is the version of SQLite? Okay, so first off, we know that we uh, have SQLite running on this machine. Now, to help us with the commands, I found the, this very useful resource on uh, Tutorials Point, which actually gets you uh, through the syntax of SQLite. And as you can see over here, it has many, many resources and topics and methods uh, that are available and explained for SQLite. Okay, so our first question, what is the version of SQLite? So let's do an ls-a to see what kind of files we have in the present working directories. So we have two database files, chinook.db and data.db. Okay, now since we have SQLite installed, we can do SQLite 3, I believe. Uh, and that is actually going to tell us the version, or we could use the .help. And this is going to give us a list of commands that we have for the um, for this uh, installation of SQLite. Okay, and if we do dot quit, it's going to take us out of SQLite. So we've been inside the SQLite. All right. So SQLite three, we've seen that the version is three point twenty two as we enter uh, the database, but we can also check it with let's see minus minus help it also gives us a list of commands uh, to open a database we could do SQLite 3 and the name of the database uh, but right now we'll get the version so if we do the minus minus version we get the full version and I guess this is a hash this could be a shot I don't know maybe 256 uh, probably so the version is 3.22 okay so I guess that um, that answers our first question what is the version so the version is 3.22 now question number two list the names uh, or the name of tables present inside data.db so we could open the database like this so SQLite 3 data.db um, or not so we could just enter SQLite I mean yeah so we've actually opened it and if we do the dot tables we can see that we have two tables flags and app but if we quit and we just enter SQLite 3 
and then we can do open and the database name data.db and right now if we do tables we get the same thing so we have two tables list the name of tables present inside data db so we have flag and app these are the names all right now question number three list the column names of table app present in data.db so how would you do this now to get the column names uh, we want to be looking at the schema and you'll get that by actually uh, studying this tutorial or you could go to the SQLite uh, documentation which is available I guess at SQLite this is actually the official documentation but like I said we need the schema so to actually get the column name so we'll do the schema for the app uh, table so we can see that we have the question was list the column names of table app so the column names are name age and address okay and that answers our third question all right number four so we're getting through this at an accelerated pace fetch the flag from the flag table present in data db all right now this is actually pretty similar to mysql so we'll simply say select all from flag let's see okay so this is the flag so we've fetched the flag from uh, the flag table present and the uh, app in the data DB table app uh, table flag yeah okay so yeah that was pretty simple now how many records are stored in employees table in Chinook DB so we'll have to open up the other database and we're doing that like I said with dot open Chinook dot DB okay now let's actually see the tables so we have more tables over here and the question was how many records are stored in employees table so for that we'll have to select all from employees okay and we can see eight entries however this is a brute way of doing it so we can do it more elegantly uh, using the select count uh, query or construct so we'll say select if I can type correctly select count everything so select count asterisk from employees okay and as you can see this is more elegant and simple and we get the answer 8 so we have 8 records in employees fellas check out my python basics course to learn the fundamentals of python you need in cybersecurity discount link in the description okay now question number six how many artists have their names start with the in artists table in chinook.db okay so uh, you don't know this uh, if you don't know this from the top of your head and you might know it unless you're working like extensively with this kind of stuff uh, so for that uh, to actually get a, an answer to this question you would actually have to study the materials on tutorials point or on uh, the SQLite official documentation uh, because uh, in this case we're actually going to be working with um, the where and the glob so the where and the glob so g-l-o-b constructs and I've actually uh, linked to the glob over here so glob is used uh, to match text against patterns uh, using wildcards uh, such as the asterisk and the question mark so like I said check the documentation for more insight into this so in this case we'll also have to use the question was how many artists have their names start with the in artist table chinook.db so we'll simply use the select count because we have to count as the question says how many artists and uh, so we'll have to count from the artists table so from artists 
select count from artists and we have to count the names that start with the so we'll say where name glob the and if you check the documentation you understand that this uh, type of formulation actually looks for everything that starts with the uh, okay so this should be it and we get the answer 14 all right moving on to the next one what is the title of the sixth album the sixth album in albums table sorted alphabetically in chinook.db all right so we'll also have to use select so we'll have to select what is the title so select title from albums and this is actually gonna get us a list of all the titles which again is not too elegant so yeah if, even if this is correct it's not elegant um, if we do um, and they're actually sorted by uh, their ID or the keys in the database and we need to actually sort them sort them by uh, alphabetically okay so we can do select title from albums and to be a bit more precise we can do an order by title and this is actually going to order them by title name and in this case let me see if I can get it so this was my query and we need the sixth one so one two three four five six so this is actually the answer we're looking for a real live one but still uh, what would we do if we have like 10,000 or a million entries um, that wouldn't be too practical so um, for that we make the query even more specific okay uh, by limiting the output so we'll say select title from albums order by title and then we're gonna limit six and in this case we get we get only the first six so we have our answer which is a real live one now even more specific we can do that six or we can do five actually and one okay and we have our answer a real live one so this is gonna stop at number five and then display the next result which is uh, the sixth entry in this case all right so this is the answer to the question a real live one so what is the title of the sixth album the title is a real live one all right now how many records have a total between two and six in invoices table in this database and this is also really simple it's just a slightly longer query so we'll say select and since we get uh, a how many we'll select count from invoices I guess so how many records in invoices so select count from invoices and we need the total to be between two and six so where total between two and six now seriously how can this syntax be more simple and self-explanatory so hit enter and we get 119 okay so that answers our last question now verify flags we need to actually verify the flag on attack defense so fetch the flag from flag table present in data db let's open data db one more time uh, it was with uh, dot open data db okay let's make sure it's open so we have the flag so select all from flag and this is our flag which we can copy and then simply paste it over here verify you're right 
Now I suggest you uh, check the tutorials point guide and also the official documentation um, at SQLite.org to better understand how this uh, type of database uh, actually works under the hood. Now you might want to check out this video in which I tell you how to get into the field of cybersecurity. Also, uh, you might want to join this amazing community of InfoSec fellas on Discord where we discuss all things cybersecurity. Link below. Now please help me grow the channel by sharing these videos so that uh, YouTube starts suggesting my content to more people. Until next time, thank you for watching.